Welcome to the vlog! Welcome to the vlog! Welcome to the motherfucking vlog! Welcome to the 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 vlog! Season 3. Welcome to the vlog! Monday morning, I woke up at Turner's house, so we spent a little bit of time together before I headed off home. Met up with my family, and then we biked over to Third Beach to have our annual party with our family friends. Everyone brought such good food, and we got so lucky with the weather. We had a, the watermelon smashing contest, which was stopped by the lifeguards, and we also had this wasp jar, and afterwards, me and Kiara got matcha bingsu for supper. Phoebe and Molly came over for pizza and Molly gets to do her job of taking the pizza out of the oven again. It was just a great evening. I know everything kind of looks like a mess right now, but it's only because I'm like laying everything out for my day tomorrow so that when I wake up, everything's kind of figured out. I was having a bit of the Sunday scaries. I'm only just feeling anxious because what if I'm like horrible at my job next week and I need to like talk myself down from that but once I'm at work everything always goes well. I still feel like in a sense my brain is trying to sabotage myself by being this nervous. All that to say I need to calm down. Hopefully next week my badge comes in so I don't have to like buzz into the uh, office anymore. Like I said everything's gonna be okay. Back at it with work again. I got some coffee to start my day and then I went to the gym with George which was nice. We went to DeVille Coffee which opened up across from his house so we just had a little bit of friend bonding time before I headed off to work. I had a face indent from my helmet but that was okay and everything went pretty well this day. No complaints, four o'clock came by fast. Okay I just got home and I'm kind of just like getting it back out there again. I'm gonna go on a very short ride. I'm just gonna go around Stanley Park and then I'm meeting Gemma for dinner. So just getting in like a little bit of training in. I'm honestly not pushing too hard just looking to get a little bit more riding in. Work went really fast today and it went well. I got all the things I wanted to done, if not more. So I'm feeling like pretty positive and I'm just looking forward to seeing Gemma. I haven't seen her in a while. Around the park and bike to Vegan Chi and it was such a good meal. We had eggplant, wontons, and then we had a curry to share. And then afterwards we also got some rain or shine. So it was just a really great time catching up and we also saw some mice. So my ride ended up only being around 20, but it was still good to get something out. And dinner with Gemma was so much fun. We haven't seen each other since my birthday. And even then she was like away in Europe for like seven weeks before that. So it's just been a while since we had a real catch up and actually got to talk to each other, which was really nice. And she's starting physio, such a huge accomplishment. So happy for her. So it was nice to just be able to sit down and have dinner. It's about 10.30, I am ready for bed. I feel like I've had a really productive day and I'm feeling good. I woke up on Wednesday morning and I was feeling great. I biked over to the gym and we worked out together and then I got to work, was feeling good that day too. I had lunch with Emma and we got to catch up because we hadn't seen each other since July because of how much had been away. Then I got to hang out with Molly for a little bit and we went to our grandparents for supper and we had such a delicious meal and everyone's so happy for Molly to be back. Watched some Jeopardy and then I just got to go home and relax. Thursday started off pretty normal. I went to the gym, we had a good workout together, I got to work and I was feeling pretty happy and then we found out the queen died. That was pretty weird and then I got a card from someone at work from the work I did on Friday so that was nice. I just got home. What's kind of funny about working for VCA right now is that it reminds me a lot in some ways of when I was working for BC Cancer like honestly the buildings are basically next to each other it's still like a healthcare job. I think there's certain habits that I'm remembering that I did <laughs> back when I had my co-op in 2018 to 19 when I would get home for some reason I would have this huge spike in anxiety. I think I would just feel like really overwhelmed because I'd try to like do everything at once like it, it almost felt like I wouldn't even take my shoes off I would have to run to the kitchen to like empty out my panty and stuff like that so I'm trying to be a little bit more cognizant of just having a better like wind down period when I enter the house overall I'm happy it's just like I am noticing that little habit creeping in so I'm just being a little cognizant to 
not let it stay. I had a quick dinner from the meal prep I did and then I walked over to meet up with Nicole at Kids Beach. We went on a really fun walk. We just went around the seawall like we usually do and then we went to Tap and Barrel to get a flight and they had a really nice selection of sour beers actually and then I walked home resulting in 14k. The next day I rode to work and it was Friday so I was pretty happy and I had some meetings. I ate lunch outside. Everything just went pretty well. Then I got home and me and Turner rode over to the convention center. We had to make some adjustments on the bike because Turner couldn't ride my dad's bike. We had to pick up the riding kit and it was a pretty long line to get it but once we got it it was fine. We made it home and Turner got in the car and headed off to Whistler. I have like pretty much neutral feelings about the race. I think it'll go fine. We're gonna finish and it's gonna be okay. I'm mostly just looking forward to kind of afterwards once it's done. They have like that whole outside activity so looking forward to just celebrating being done the race. Ended the night by editing. Hello, it is race day and it's 5.30 a.m. right now. I am just mentally preparing for what's about to happen today. I'm sure things are gonna go fine. Me and my dad are gonna ride together, which is nice. I'm not feeling too anxious, if anything. I'm just feeling like general like dread for how hard this is gonna be, but I know I can do it. Had some breakfast and changed into my bike fit and it was time to open the bars to make sure I could eat them during the ride and everything was ready to go. We're riding to the starting line right now. It is probably only like 12 degrees. It's very cold but feeling good. There was a lot of riders on the road and we made it to the starting line. We had to wait for a while just to get all the different groups going but eventually we finally made it out on the road. Just made it up Taylor Way. That's the first hard hill of the ride. Feeling good. This first part of the ride was actually so nice and you can see me smiling and happy. But then we got to Bird Creek and approached the KOM. Okay, I just finished the KOM. It was hard, but I'm feeling good. Starting the descent into Squamish now. This is where things start to go bad. Okay, I feel like I'm bonking a bit. I'm almost 11. I'm at around 90K, so 30 to go. This is difficult. I didn't film much after because I had no mental capacity, but this is Turner yeah, cheering me on that, as I kind of past the finish line and right when I finished I saw a corgi so I was definitely happy about that I got lots of food at the end and got some beer as well and a medal so it was all worth it right we chilled at Tom and Chiang's house for a bit and then me and Turner had a nap and then it was time to make the pasta we also picked up my mom who had taken the bus up and we were all just having a really good time that evening Once the sheets of pasta dried out, we cut them into the individual noodles and that was really fun. We all did it together. <laughs> we let the noodles dry out a little bit more and we opened some Prosecco and Minu got wet food. It was all very yummy and we just all sat down together for dinner. At the end of the evening, we got to see all of Tom and Ching's photos from their recent vacation to Italy, and then we just went to bed. The next day, we all had breakfast together. We had some toast, some coffee. It was really nice, and Minu was looking so adorable. And it was finally time for us to head back to Vancouver. We got the bike rack installed onto the car, courtesy of Tom and my dad. We chilled with Minu for a little bit longer until it was time for us to hit the road. And Turner was having a lot of allergies, so I think he was happy to be away from the cat. But we went to Bread to do a pit stop. We picked out a bunch of loaves, which were really yummy. And then we just drove back to Vancouver and I got back got to do some meal prep and editing. I actually ended up running 10 kilometers at the treadmill and then I came home and made food. Overall, it was a relaxing evening. I'm just chilling. I got my air purifier on for the smoke. I had a great dinner. I'm very sleepy. I'm ready to go to bed and just finally have a, a well-deserved sleep in my bed. So I'm going to end off the vlog here. I'm so proud of myself for finishing this race, getting it over with, even though like I barely trained all summer. I did pretty good. So hoping that next year I can train a little bit more so that I can do better in it. Next week at work, I think it'll be pretty good. I got like a new assignment 
that's like pretty high priority on Friday afternoon that I'm gonna have to work on right away on Monday. I have two days to do it. It's due Wednesday morning, so I'm confident I can do it. It's just, I wasn't expecting something to come in that late. So it kind of puts all my other projects in a different set of priorities. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it and hopefully do well. Again, it's only my third week as well. Like I'm still in my first month and everything, so I'm not gonna put too much stress on myself. I'm feeling good and relaxed. I am excited for this week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.